Christmas, everyone. It's Christmas week yep. here in Trader Abeville, and we're getting mm -hmm. super excited. Uh, we haven't been able to do a video for a while because we haven't had a whole lot of cards to open, no. but we do have a couple videos lined up for this week, mm -hmm. and we're crossing our fingers. Uh, we've been trying to be good kids and hopefully uh, make the nice list, and hopefully Santa mm -hmm. will bring us some cards for Christmas. Yes. You got anything on your Christmas wish list for cards? I kind of want a Larry Bird card. Larry Bird card. Yeah, me, I'd like to get some uh, Chronicles packs, maybe some NBA Hoops premium stock. Yeah. Uh -huh. And always, you know, maybe maybe Santa would put us some uh, top loaders and sleeves. Mm -hmm. That'd be good too, right? That'd be good. Hey, listen, we love our basketball, obviously, you know that. But we like a few yeah. other sports too. Mm -hmm. Baseball, football, we like a little bit of everything. But there's one sport that we really, really like, and we never have opened any cards from this sport. Yeah. But we're gonna do that tonight. Mm -hmm. What's it gonna be there, Trevor? We're gonna be opening some Topps Finest 2020 WWE cards. That's right, We uh, I was out shopping the other day and as I was checking out in the lane, these were at the checkout aisle. And I just kind of feel like they were calling out our name. Uh, as you can see, it's got Drew McIntyre on the cover. Drew McIntyre had a huge run Isn't he this a champion? year. He was a champion, I think he's lost now. These have some autographs. WWE Superstar autographs, um, Top's Finest. I've seen some people open these. They look really good, mm. so we're gonna crack into them. Hopefully we come across yes. something good. Hey, who's your favorite WWE wrestler? AJ Styles. AJ Styles, why? <clears throat> because he's Because he is, but I just really like him. Okay, well, my all-time favorite WWE wrestler is- uh, Macho Man Randy Savage. Yeah, probably Macho Man Randy Savage or Chris Jericho. Both those guys are awesome. I I don't like Hulk Hogan, but uh, Macho Man is the man. Yeah. Uh, so I don't know the if man of He is the man of macho. So anyway, we're going to rip these open. And before we get into that, we want to tell you, uh, we want to highlight a another YouTube channel that we talked about and watched this week. And it's called Coffee Break. I'm going to leave yeah. a link in the description. Mm -hmm. uh, these guys are from Canada. So when you're talking about wrestling, you got to talk about Canada because all kinds of great wrestlers came from Canada. Uh, like Chris Jericho and uh, Brett the Hitman Hart and Owen Hart and lots and lots of great wrestlers. But these guys, uh, Coffee Break is their channel. They do a lot of sports cards. They do open a lot of hockey, which if you're in Kentucky or South, you may not know anything about that. We want to highlight them. They're trying to get up to 200 subscribers this week. We want to help them out. Hopefully they'll return the favor for us. Mm -hmm. uh, so I'm going to put a link down in the description below, right down here. Yep. Go check it out and uh, let them know what you think and tell mm -hmm. them that Trader Ape sent you. They're doing, they do a lot of giveaways too. So you're gonna wanna follow. All right, everybody, welcome into the like box here. As you can see, we've been joined by three amazing champions, three world champions. Yeah, the, Macho Man Randy Savage. The AJ phenomenal AJ, AJ Styles. AJ Styles and, and La Champion. Chris Jericho. Because we are opening WWE Tops Finest 2020. We only have one pack, so this is going to be a quick run through. Yep. Uh, 12 cards is what we've got in this pack. As you can see, here are the odds and the no purchase necessary. Mm -hmm. Take a quick pause right there yeah, if you pause want to. Right here. You know, while you're pausing, this would be a great time for you to uh, subscribe to the channel. Yeah. Like this video. It's Leave us a comment tonight. Yes. What would be a great question for this, Trader Who is your, your favorite wrestler of all time? Who's your all-time favorite wrestler? Drop it in the comment section below yeah. and click that notification bell. Yep, so you will not miss a you video. You don't want to miss anything. As you can see, La Champion Chris Jericho is telling you to follow us on Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram. Yep. Trader Aid 33. So here we go. We're going to rip into this cello pack here. Yep. Uh, and we got a lady on top. I don't know who it is. Lacey Evans, I believe. Lacey Evans, yep, I can tell by the, by the fingernail it's polish. Lacey Evans. Yep. Good looking cards. Wow. These look very much like uh, prisms. Um, yeah, they had a so There you go. Very Evans. chrome finish. <coughs> Lacey, Evans. Lacey Evans there. 
Jimmy Uso. What's up, Uso? Security pack, filler card. Jimmy Uso. Zelina Vega. Kyrie Sane. Heavy on the women's wrestling. Speaking of, speaking of Canada, and we're talking about our friend's coffee break from up in Canada. I bet they love this guy. Brett the Hitman Hart. Finest returns. Another girl. 1-4-2010. This was when Bret Hart came back. So this is from the night Bret Hart came back on Raw. Now, if you're a wrestling fan from the late 90s, you will remember uh, the Montreal screw job. Um, that's what uh, happened when uh, Vince McMahon uh, just kind of came out and took the world title from Bret Hart in his you know home, home country here in Canada. Very controversial finish. And Brett uh, spit, spit in the face of Vince McMahon. He punched him in the face afterwards. And he left WWE and said he would never come back again. He was very upset with Shawn Michaels. But then on 1-4-10, as it says, Brett Hitman Hart left WWE under terrible circumstances um, and refused to return. But that changed January 4th, 2010, when Hart buried the hatchet with Shawn Michaels. And now he has once again left. and don't know that he'll be back. He's taking a lot of his stuff off the uh, network as well. Here's a Kay rookie Lee card. Kaylee Ray. Kay Kay Lee Lee Ray. Lee. Gosh. <laughs> Dakota, Dakota Kai. Kai. Man. Kai. Now, Kyle O'Reilly is from the NXT brand. He is part of the Undisputed Era and one of my favorite wrestlers that I've watched in a while. I haven't watched WWE in several months, but uh, I really like Kyle O'Reilly's work. He got hurt a few months back. I hate to see him go down, but he's he's awesome. Here you go. Tegan Knox rookie card. The cards look good. I like the cards. They look good. Would love to get a numbered card or an autograph. Walter. Or some sort. Walter. This guy's a rough, tough wrestler. Very, uh, very hardcore European guy. Goes, uh, lays them in when he throws a punch. Well, now here's a winner if I ever saw one. Shorty, Shorty G. G. If you've been watching wrestling and you know who Shorty G is, by all means, please tell me. And the fiend, the fiend. Bray Wyatt. That mask that he wears scared me. Pretty scary, right? Yeah. Bray Wyatt, six foot three, 285 pounds, mm -hmm. signature move, the mandible claw. I wanna learn a little bit more about Shorty G. Five foot eight, two hundred and two pounds from Minneapolis, Minnesota, and his signature move is a chaos theory. Always looking to turn a negative into a positive, Shorty G, formerly known as Chad Gable. Okay, I don't know who he is. <laughs> Here, here's two things I'll tell you about him: extremely talented wrestler, completely wasted as Shorty G. So, I don't know. Here you go, Walter. Walter's a big guy, six four, two ninety seven from Austria. Tegan Knox, rookie. So, you know, overall, it's hard to tell the value of these, Abe. But uh, they look good. They're fun. And uh, we'll check them out. I'll tell you what, leave us a comment below. Mm -hmm. uh, and, uh, you know, uh, first week of January, we'll go through uh, all the comments. And what we will do is we will give away this Brett to Hitman heart to someone who leaves a comment. Mm -hmm. uh, we'll do that. Uh, we'll, just, we'll post a video on uh, January. The first video we do... Uh, like January the 7th. We'll put a video out then and uh, we'll give this bad boy away for anyone that comments. So, all right, well, that's it. Chris Jericho, what do you have to say? You, you just made the list. If you don't subscribe to this vid this channel, you just you make, the make the list. The list. AJ time. Styles, what do you think about Trader Abe's YouTube channel? I think it's, it's so phenomenal. phenomenal. Macho Man, your thoughts? Well, let me tell you something, brother. If you don't subscribe to Trader Reeb, you're missing out. Subscribe to the channel, like the video, leave a comment, and smash that notification bell. Uh-huh. Yeah. Take it. Yeah. All right, guys. Well, that's it for the WWE <laughs> Top's Finest. 
Uh, leave a comment, get your Bret Hart, and don't forget to check out our friends right here, Coffee Break. Mm -hmm. uh, subscribe to their channel and tell them that Trader Abe's sent you. Have a great day. Yeah. And as the Macho Man wants to tell you, he loves eating Slim Jims when he watches these videos. That's exactly right. Snap into a Slim Jim. Mm -hmm. Bye.